Hey everybody, it's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. Today we're learning about a very rare angelfish that is not seen that often, very hard to find and also very expensive. Today we're learning about the very rare conspicuous angelfish. These guys are very pretty in the tank setting, but they do come with a very hefty price. Looking online, prices were varying, but the lowest price I could find for one of these was $3,500. And some of the other ones were going upwards of 5000 to even 10000 on some websites that had them in stock. So very rare, very pretty fish to have. It's just one of them kind of icons to have in your tank. Tank size, you'll want eventually to have a 250-gallon tank. You need plenty of room for this angelfish because they get huge. They need plenty of room to grow, and they are very active around the tank. So you want to make sure you have plenty of room for him to enjoy. Care level, I would say definitely hard to even the expert levels just because of how they are in the tank setting. They're very particular about their water parameters. And they're also very particular about their food that we'll get into. Temper, I would say semi-aggressive. You know, they are an angelfish and a very large angelfish, so they do become the kings and queens of the tank, very territorial over certain places in the rock structure and also just very aggressive when eating too. So you want to make sure to put them with other fish that can hold their own and not get beat up. Reef compatibility is always with caution, especially for me with angelfish. I usually stray away from it just because they can be so picky on those corals. You know, they'll pick on their clam mantles, the zoas, any kind of LPS corals. They'll go in there and just see them as snacks and start eating on them. Now, of course, on the total flip side, you know, you do have some angelfish at times that will go into a reef tank and not mess with anything. So if you are getting one from your LFS, you can definitely ask them about it. If not, you know, it's kind of just that chance that you want to take. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78, DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. So keeping those parameters in check is very important. It's also good to keep up with your ammonias, your nitrates, your nitrites. Because if those start to spike, it can really, really hurt this fish. And it can really give them, you know, it can hit them with ick or velvet or it can just harm them overall health wise. So make sure you keep all those levels in check. Do your water changes and keep up with it however you can. You really don't want this to spike. Acclimating into the tank is also very important. You want to do a very slow acclimation for them. Whatever you usually do for a regular fish, I'd probably double it for him. Max size, of course, huge angelfish. They can get up to a foot long, sometimes even larger. The ones you're seeing in the video have definitely hit that max size. So they're huge. They need plenty of room to swim around in. Colors on them. This is really where people want to get them for is because those adult colors that they have. Now, as a juvenile, there actually ain't much to them. They're just like a dud. They're just black, browns, and a little bit of white mixed together, and that's it. But as he gets older, he has that really dominant yellow head with the black, browns, and grays all fading out throughout his body. So he's very pretty whenever he gets bigger. Diet, so they are an omnivore. He is an angelfish. He's going to be picking around the rocks constantly during the day. Make sure you have plenty of live rock for him to graze on. I'll also be feeding him some dry seaweed too. Feed him plenty of algae throughout the day. Some of them will eat two to three times those sheets of algae every single day. So you want to make sure you're feeding plenty on the clip to him so he's staying very healthy. This keeps their colors very pretty, keeps diseases away, and just keeps their overall health doing really well. On the same side, you want to be feeding him a bunch of meaty stuff too. So brine shrimp, mysis shrimp, things like that. They'll even eat flakes and pellets eventually. If you want to get them on that, but you definitely want to keep some very green in his diet and some very meaty stuff in his diet. These guys can be very picky whenever first coming into the tank, so make sure you have a lot of different types of food on hand that you can give him every day to try to figure out what he likes the most. Origin, they come from the Indo Pacific area. Like I said, they're a very rare catch. They don't get them that often anymore, but around that area, that's where they're going to be finding them. Compatibility, just ask. You know, they are an angelfish, so you got to realize they are territorial. Also, having a bigger tank will make them less territorial because of the size. It gives them a lot more room to take over and not be so stressed out whenever another fish is added. They can be with other angelfish. Like you see, they have a mated pair together in the tank, so you can go that route. 
but you can also put other things like other angelfish and other tangs in the tank. Now, whenever mixing things like that, a lot of times it is best to add them at the same time if you can. If not, usually you can shut off all your lights, maybe change a rock or two, and then in the morning whenever they get up and they're swimming around with each other, a lot of times it'll help them not be so territorial towards each other on the newcomers. After that, I really ain't got much else to touch on for the conspicuous angelfish. Like I said, it's a very rare one, a very icon in the tank. You won't see them that often. I was very lucky to see this at the aquarium one day. So very expensive fish. Need a big tank to take care of them. And they can be very picky in the tank. So make sure you got plenty of stuff on hand to try to get them to eat. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving. Hope y'all get a plenty of time with your family and loved ones. And I hope y'all like and subscribe to this video. And I will see y'all later.